we don't think we've ever shown you people going to the extremes that you're going to see tonight. We started thinking about extremes when an outrageous story made international headlines last week in the how far is too far category. How far will a father go to see his daughter get married? Well, $65 million far. Here's Jeffrey Kaufman. She's beautiful, she's brainy, she's the daughter of a billionaire. Come for a ride over the skies of Hong Kong with the woman thousands of men around the world are clamoring to marry. I just want your hand in marriage. Gigi, I am going to rule you. I decided that she was the right woman for me. Gigi Chow is, by any definition, a great catch. You've lived a lot of places. Yeah, well, home is where the heart is. And winning Gigi's heart is worth a fortune. Call it a dowry, call it a bounty. The man who can get Gigi to agree to marry him will get $65 million. Who would dream up such a crazy idea? Her dad, Cecil Chow. His face and fortune familiar to just about everyone here because he's always in the Hong Kong tabloids. Think of the ego of Donald Trump and the sex drive of Hugh Hefner, and you've got Cecil Chow. You've never married? Never married. Why? When I think about marriage, it always frightens me. You want to have a whole forest, or you just want to have one flower? <laughs> and this 76-year-old has had the whole forest. He boasts that he slept with more than 10,000 women. Yeah, that's a good number. <laughs> yeah. And I'm guessing that these walls have seen a lot of fun. This self-styled playboy lives lavishly in his seaside villa. He made his fortune as one of Hong Kong's top real estate tycoons. So you built all this? I will go all this, yeah, yeah. A lot of money. A lot of money. <laughs> Net worth, well over a billion dollars. You want to come into the car? The man who has never married has never stopped indulging. Just this week, he flew two beautiful young women to his private yacht. Note that it was Gigi who flew him there and waited for him patiently on the top deck, the ever-dutiful daughter, while Dad plied the women with champagne below. As unconventional as Cecil's life is, he expects a more traditional life for Gigi. Of course, my dream is for her to get married and have a normal family life. If she is 33, she's still not yet married. I'm a bit worried about her. Gigi grew up in Hong Kong and in the U.S., shuttling between warring parents. She is devoted to her eccentric dad, but on one issue, she is very publicly defying him. Your dad put $65 million out there for the man who can win your heart. Are you on the market or is your heart already taken? My heart is already taken taken by another woman. She is Sean Eve, originally from Cambodia. The two have been girlfriends for eight years. They made it official in a church ceremony in Paris this past April. Do you consider Sean your wife, your life partner? She is my life partner, yes. Your dad doesn't see it that way. No, he just doesn't understand how anybody can be gay. Did you ever try to have a conversation with your dad and say, Dad, I'm gay? No, I don't. I didn't go, Dad, I'm gay. But I said, Dad, hey, here are some photos of us. I'm in a happy relationship. I'm really happy. And he just goes, no, what you're doing is wrong, wrong, wrong. And so he goes, why don't you go find some guys? I, I don't really care for that. <laughs> Gigi works in the same office as her dad, but for months she didn't say a word about the commitment ceremony she and Sean had shared in France. She finally told him on her birthday last June. He was surprised and unpleasantly shocked by it. And what did he say to you? He said... Why did you do this so impulsively? Um, you shouldn't let people know. Um, you shouldn't announce it. But they did announce, inadvertently, in late September, when Sean was asked by a reporter from the Oriental Daily if the two women really were a couple. If so, when would they marry? So, will you guys get married, the reporter asks. We're already married, says Sean. The tabloids went wild.
that he was naturally concerned about this, and so he found it necessary to make an announcement. No, she's not homosexual. She's not, she doesn't have gay tendencies. She's not married. In fact, I'm trying to find a husband for her. I'll offer 500 million. That's in Hong Kong dollars, about 65 million American dollars. What does a man have to be, what does he have to do in order to get 65 million dollars? It's very simple. Gigi must love him and he must like Gigi. In your eyes, is it not okay for her to be gay? I'm not saying that she's not okay to be gay. I mean, it's her own choice and her own uh, tendency. Maybe what she wants today is different from what she wants in the future. The offers have come flooding in from around the globe. I see Gigi as the Asian Nicole Kidman and I'm Keith Urban. For real. Thousands of emails and tens of thousands of Facebook admirers. I'm not very hairy. Um, I like Taylor Swift and romantic comedies. Gigi's tried to block these digital Don Juans. I could love you long time for $65 million. But the persistent ones seem to find a way. What if we got married? and then I'd only take like say half the 65 million and then we could give the other half to a gay charity. Talk to Cecil about all this and you get mired in contradictions. What's more important for you? Your, your love for your daughter or, or seeing her marry a man? I want her to marry a man, but if she doesn't choose to marry a man, keep on unmarried or if gay is her tendency, I wouldn't force her to change anything. Uh, that doesn't change me from my love for her. Do you want to meet her girlfriend? No. No, never? Never. He has the power to disinherit you? Yeah. Do you worry about that? No. Why? I have inherited Dad's charm and his nerves of steel and his ability to get along with people. If I inherit nothing more than these traits which he's given me. I'm completely happy with that. Spoken like a perfect diplomat. Homosexuality was decriminalized in 1991 here, but gay marriage is not legal. I don't see myself as the, the face of gay Hong Kong, but now that I've been sort of thrown out there, I'm not going to back away from it. But Gigi makes it clear that she is also not going to walk away from her father. So, are you are you two still talking? Yes, we talk every day. Every day. Are you still friends? Yeah. We're more than friends. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> have you exchanged words over this, the two of you? Has, have there been any angry words about all this? Um, I think Daddy is uncomfortable with it. Oh, uh, I am. No, not or maybe not. I'm not quite comfortable. Okay. I'm not, I'm I am happy, and he knows I am happy. As you are. Yeah, he just wants me to be more happy. <laughs> In front of her father, she'd clearly prefer to leave it at that. But when you say you're happy, you're happy with Sean? I'm happy just the way I am now, yeah. With your girlfriend? Yes. Okay, fine. With my girlfriend. <laughs> okay, we get it. But with $65 million on the table, I couldn't leave Hong Kong without at least trying. I think that'll work. So will you marry me? No. <laughs> she didn't even hesitate. <laughs> and if you don't think that story is already outrageous enough, this week, Sasha Baron Cohen, the man behind Borat, announced he's making a movie of it. Would you marry a complete stranger for $65 million? Well, go to abcnews.com slash 2020 to cast your vote.